Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia, and tomorrow we're starting our first Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play on the channel, and to determine which house we'll be playing as for our very first Let's Play, I'll be taking the Sorting Hat quiz here on Wizarding World. So let's get ourselves sorted and determine which one of the four houses we'll be part of. First question, river or forest? So forest can be a bit creepy depending on the forest. I guess rivers can be also kind of dangerous depending on the river, but I think generally river gives me more of a serene feel. And if you follow Taoism or Bruce Lee at all, the theory that you want to live your life like water kind of bring me closer to river here. And then which of the following would you most like to study? Mer people, centaurs, like this one already, werewolves, vampires, goblins, trolls, and ghosts. I feel like with ghosts, you can just talk to them, at least in the Harry Potter universe. Trolls, I feel like they don't really need to be studied. Goblins, vampire, werewolves, I think centaurs. Of all of these, they're pretty unique, but still smart enough to give you a good dialogue to kind of study on. So let's just go with this. A troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It's about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable item and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club if you could? A nearly perfected cure for dragon pox, so a disease. Um, can I see the others before I decide? Nearly perfected. Three. Student records going back a thousand years. Okay. Um, could these be swapped? I guess I'm okay for this. I can't bring it to hmm guess this is one might switch these two. Oh, we can reorder here yeah this is probably three the records feel irreplaceable thousand year worth of history versus a book that no one can understand let's go with this if you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? So personally, I'm allergic to cats, so that's out. Toads versus owls? I think we're going owls. And we're going to pick a type. Barn owl, tarny owl, snowy owl, screech owl, brown owl. So just going off the pictures... Tarny, well, snowy like Harry, but I think that's a little too cliche. I think we go with the brown owl. Looks very majestic and full here. After you have died, what would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Ask for more stories about your adventures. Miss you, but smile. As in they're happy that I'm dead? Think with admiration of your achievements. That's a nice one. I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. Well, true, but you will die. And this is asking how you want them to feel. I guess this is just I don't care. This is nice. I think admiration for your achievements. One of your housemates have cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. Sad. Professor Flintwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to one side after his lesson, asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quail. What do you do? So he did cheat. And we can tell him the truth. Oh, so we're in the same house, so he will lose points, I will gain points. He 
you would not wait to be asked to ask, to tell him the truth before the exam started. Definitely not. Lie and say you don't know. No. Why? Why be this kind of deceitful person to yourself? Hide away from being the one to tattletale. If he asks, I'll just tell him. And this added point of not losing point for the house feels good too. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? Piano, the drum, violin, trumpet. Now this would depend on who's playing it. But I guess if we have masters at each craft, the piano offers the most range, I believe, from these. Violin's also very nice. Trumpet by itself, though? I feel like it would need more of an ensemble. Piano, I feel like, is the choice here. Heads or tails? I guess if you ask me that you're flipping a coin and you ask me to call something, I guess I'm calling heads. And that's it. Okay. Which house are we going to be sorted into? Ravenclaw, wit, learning, and wisdom. So, not surprised. I think being a strategy gamer, as someone has said, being sorted into Ravenclaw is kind of expected. And we'll be kicking off our journey as a Ravenclaw. Uh, the common room boasts the most stunning views of the castle grounds. I guess we'll find out once we do get into game, as we will be able to explore everything in the castle, including the common rooms. So, a Ravenclaw it is for serious trivia. So until tomorrow, when we kick off our Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play, see you then. Bye!